these structures are important now if we look some of the uh, some of more uh, some of uh, pretty unusual secondary structures are something called tetra loops and pseudonauts so what these tetra loops and pseudonauts so as you can see in this picture uh, in this picture that additionally interactions with ions small molecules and large proteins may influence as you can see for example a stem loop uh, with the or tetra loop sequences UUCG is extraordinarily stable due to the spatial base stacking interactions now as you can see in this picture in this tetra loop structure tetra loop uh, let, let me tell you tetra loop is nothing but a stem loop structure so what we are making, we are making only a, 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 a stem loop structure, which in in the previous picture as you can find, here something like that. Here we have, so here we have a stem loop structure like this, and in this structures, this part uh, we can find pairing. But what happens during this kind of pairing? If we are having more U, C, and G in the, in this situation, more importantly two or more than two u two or more than two u russells and very uh, guanines uh, present there then this guanine have a remarkable ability to pair with uracil as well as cytosine so what they can do in these situations as you can see so this guanine pairs with u guanine pairs with c and uh, as you can see this uh, th 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 these are the simple bonding these are the hydrogen bonding as we know but w except for this hydrogen bonding the presence of c cytosine and uracil uh, and guanine in this kind of orientation what happens we we are having this base stacking interaction that that is going on and that is shown in this picture uh, between this this bases okay so uracil cytosine and guanine guanine base stacking interactions and this base stacking interactions are really really strong this base stacking interaction between the uucg is extraordinarily stable due to the spatial base stacking interaction loop that is being formed in this kind of picture okay and that's why the presence of this kind of tetra loop structure is really important now base pairing can also take place between sequences where are not uh, continuous with the each other that, as we can see in this picture so we have a stem loop structure again like that now in this stem loop structure you can see as we know in this in the stem regi region there are uh, complementary sequences which can make bonds with themselves and to make a stabilized structure like that but in the upper loop like structure there are some regions which are popping out there are some nucleotide bases which are popping outside okay now these bases can have a complementarity in the other part of the this uh, uh, structure of this tetra loop so what happens this base start to make a pair start to make bond with uh, this region so with with the sequences that we can find in in this uh, in in this below structure like this or in this ground structure like this okay so what happens this this ground structure start to come up and uh, the nuclear uh, the base sequences we can find in the ground we start to pair with uh, this bases that we can find uh, popping outside from the loop and they can make structures like that now this kind of structures is being called the pseudo knot structures Okay, so what we are having, we are having the tetra loop structures, as you can see in this picture, and we are having the pseudonauts. Now, this kind of structure is pretty unusual, but you can normally, uh, most of the times, we cannot see this. But these kind of structures are important to make uh, the RNA structure stable, and not only to make the RNA structure stable, but the presence of this kind of structure actually denote, denotes the RNA or actually flagged the R RNA with some of the properties that come. Uh, they they actually. Uh, call proteins that come and bind to us bind to us because we are having this kind of regions so that is uh, this part of the region of the protein this is of the rna actually uh, act as the flagging in, uh, instruction points okay 